Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Today, I'm looking at another operating system for the Raspberry Pi. It's called Kali Unix. Now, for those of you who don't know, Kali is a Linux distribution designed purely for ethical hacking. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Kali Unix and how to use one of its Wi-Fi hacking tools. It was released in 2013 and is still continually being developed and funded by an organization called Offensive Security. Now, they're a leading provider of online penetration testing and training and offer certification for information security professionals. But Kali Linux can be used by anyone and it's free to use. Now using the set of tools featured in Kali Unix, you can do a lot of things. Now these things include cracking nearby Wi-Fi passwords. Using these tools provided with Kali, you can help check the security of your network or applications using your Raspberry Pi. First, head over to the Offensive Security website and to the download section. Scroll down to the Raspberry Pi Foundation, now here, I downloaded the non-64-bit version. Now, back on your PC or Mac, I'm using a software called Etcher to flash the downloaded Kali image to my SD card. All links are in the description, guys. Just select the image you downloaded and make sure you're flashing to your SD card. Then simply just click the flash button. This shouldn't take more than five minutes. Insert the SD card into your Raspberry Pi and boot up. The first boot up will take more time than your regular boot ups. Then you'll be presented with a login screen. Your default login credentials are username, root, and password is Tor. Then click enter. The first thing I do is add my Wi-Fi connection. Click on your top right icon and select your network and enter your password. Next, I'm gonna update and upgrade the system. So click on the command prompt on the top left and type the following command. apt update, ampersand twice, and apt upgrade, and press enter. Now this can take up to 10 minutes depending on the speed of your network, so be patient. So let's take a look at what comes pre-installed on your standard image of Kali Linux. The first thing you'll see is that it comes with a shed load of security tools. Now this won't come as a surprise, as it is designed for that purpose. It comes with classic information gathering tools like Nmap and Wireshark. Kali also has Wi-Fi centered tools like Aircrack NG, Kismet and Pixie. For attacking passwords, there are tools like Hydra, Crunch, Hashcat and John the Ripper. And yes, you heard me right. Then there's a more complete suite of tools, including Metasploit and Burp Suite. They've obviously got a great sense of humor down at Offensive Security. So that's only a small percentage of the security tools available by default with Kali. It would take a long time to go through all of them, but you can clearly see that many of the most popular tools are represented. So what if you need more cracking slash penetrating tools that come with the standard install of Kali Unix? Well, you simply download some more. Just enter the following command and wait up to 10 minutes depending on the speed of your network. Now, once it's complete, if we go back up to the menu, we'll see that we have a whole shed load of more tools. For instance, under information gathering, we've quadrupled the amount of tools. And under each heading, there's even more tools. So let's try one of these tools out. I'm gonna try out the Fern Wi-Fi Cracker. So when it opens up, the first thing we do is select interface and choose YLAN zero. Click OK, and then click on the scan for access points. This will then search for any nearby networks. And as you can see, it's detected two networks. Now they're both my own network. Now I'm going to attempt to crack my own password on my network. Now this tool basically works by reading a text file full of passwords and applying it to your network. So I'm going to browse to where I currently have a sample text file full of passwords. Now the tool will keep on applying the passwords in the text files until it cracks the network password. So I just click on the attack button and let it get on its way. As soon as it gets the password, it'll flash up a message. Now Kali Linux comes pre-installed with the Mozilla browser and it seems to work pretty well. Response time is pretty fast and slick. Video also works with no issues. Running pretty smoothly even in full screen. So guys this has just been a brief introduction to Kali Linux. Hopefully you can see it's a fascinating release of Linux. Of course if you're interested in learning about security the right way you can certainly use Kali in a controlled environment to teach yourself. But do use Kali with care and take advantage of its awesome potential. If you don't you could end up in trouble. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I hope you found this video useful and helpful. If you did, please leave a like and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.